as you know, my name is Kiati Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for our Leos, okay? So Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Leo, then this reading is for you, all right? Let us go ahead and jump straight into the reading. Welcome, welcome to anybody who is new, and welcome back to anybody who is for turn. All right. I hope that you guys are doing well, that this reading finds you doing well, love. And in the event that you are not, I pray that we can transmute that energy here and now for the benefit of yourself and everyone involved. All right. So let us see. Thank you, spirit. What are the messages here for our Leos? All right, we have the five of wands. All right, now this is your energy. All right, but this is conflict, chaos. All right, there could be some conflict, some chaos, some disagreements going on here, okay? Some things are rather unsettling right now. We have the ace of pentacles, okay? Um, I feel like this is like people arguing over who should get what, okay? Um, somebody could be arguing over who should get what, you know? We have a nine of pentacles here. Somebody could be arguing over who gets you. It's like, I just heard who gets the girl. You get what I'm saying? That's really funny. Or who gets the guy? That's hilarious, all right? So we got the three of swords here, okay? Um, hmm. You like made the best... <laughs> May the best man or woman win. That is hilarious. Okay, yeah, we got the Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so that's the energy that's coming through so far. Let us see messages here for our Leos. We have the Queen of Wands. All right, yeah, this is you. Everybody wants you. Okay, it's what is what is given. All right, we got yeah about five individuals okay that or four individuals that want you all right and you're just sitting here like listen may the best person win. Yes, yeah, at least four of them coming after you. All right, you got about three guys and a lady okay maybe two two guys and two ladies okay it's like everybody wants a piece okay but we got the queen of swords here all right you're keeping it moving you're keeping it pushing i feel like over time what you need to see about each of these individuals will reveal itself and so yeah judgment you'll know exactly what to do all right you don't have to say anything do anything all right we have here the eight of swords and the three of swords yeah all right so somebody knows magic okay somebody knows magic so whether that be you or it be someone who's interested in you somebody knows magic all right and somebody's like listen here i'm gonna get what i want okay that's that's the energy that i feel all right so i don't know if that's you all right because spirit is saying for a lot of you it, it, it might be you all right you might be somebody who's like i don't back down from you know competition i want what i want i want who i want I'm going to get what I want. You get what I'm saying? King, queen of the jungle type shit. You know, I'm going to get what I want regardless um, type of energy. So it could very much so be you. All right. You rule the will. And it's like, if you have a will, your will be done. You get what I'm saying? So shit, it could be you that's feeling like this. Like, nah, somebody going to stay put whether they realize it or not. You get what I'm saying? Because it's your heart's desires, you know, but put yourself whichever side you go. Let us see. Yeah, we got the Six of Pentacles. We got the Hangman. I feel like somebody, whether it's you or them, put yourself wherever you go. Somebody feels like it's a mutual situation, right? It's a mutual situation. So they're willing to put that twerk in. Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, absolutely. They're like, I get from it what I put in it. So I'm willing to put in it everything. Yeah, we got the King of Cups. Yep, they're like, I'm willing to bet it all. <laughs> put it all on such and such. You get what I'm saying? That's how they come in. Put it all on Leo. All right, so... We got the judgment card here, okay? This is discernment. Yeah, we have the lovers, all right? So like I said, I feel like at the end of the day, somebody's going to see exactly what they need to see. Um, there's not really anything that you need to do. Say nothing. You get what I'm saying? Just keep doing you. Keep being you. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is here. I feel like that's exactly what you've been doing. You get what I'm saying? Um, yeah, all right? So let's see. We got the Nine of Swords. I feel like other people might be in despair. They might be you know, really freaked up to a cups. Like, damn, am I going to get chosen? Am I going to get selected? Am I going to get chosen? Am I going to get selected? You're not busting a sweat because you already know, like, you're doing what you have to do in order to stay in your position with a fortune. That's what I'm feeling. All right. So once again, this is general. It's not going to resonate with everybody, but take your message if it's for you. You get what I'm saying? If it's your message, I feel it. I rocks with it. Hard body. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. Exactly. I mean, excuse me, will of fortune. Exactly. So it's like a, um, 
like I said, you're at the top of the wheel. You're moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Luck is in your favor. Yeah, you're going to get your heart's desires. And you know that because you rule the wheel. you like, listen, okay, <laughs> I'm the king or the queen of the jungle once again. And if I said this is what I want, then I'm going to get it. Now, keep in mind, this is all placements, Leo. All right? So you don't have to be like, oh, well, only if I'm a Leo son. No, if you have Leo anywhere on your damn chart and you know how to utilize that Leo energy, yeah, this is your reading. We have the Knight of Swords, okay? So, Knight of Swords, knowing exactly what you want or exactly what to do. The Lover's card and doing it and getting it. You get what I'm saying? It's very simple. It's like we're not going to have to complicate this. This is basic math. <laughs> I just heard this is basic algebra. That's mad funny. All right, I also heard... Um, <laughs> Oh, shoot. I'm not even going to repeat that. That is hilarious. All right. But anyways, so we had the lover's card. Underneath the lover's card is the strength card, which is your energy. Again, we have empress here. So either you are the empress or that is your empress, whichever way it goes. You get what I'm saying? But once again, you like what competition? Okay. So let us see. We have the five of wands. Five of wands. If it's one thing about Leo, Leo's damn sure confident. Okay. We have the... <laughs> You got the queen of swords. Yeah, you like, I'm just going to keep it moving because, yeah, exactly, magician. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to argue. I'm not in competition with them. They can compete for you. I'm not competing. You get what I'm saying? The magician is somebody who knows their power, knows their capabilities, um, knows that they can manifest what it is that they want, what it is they desire. More than likely, you've done it before. You get what I'm saying? It's not the first time. Temperance, you know that all things will happen in divine timing. You get what I'm saying? All things happen in divine timing. So... We have the king of swords. Yeah, all right. You know that you and somebody are a match. So you like, I'm not even about to sweat it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know what I know, clearly. Yeah, ace of swords. You like, there's no confusion. There's no, none of that. I know what I know, clearly. Yeah, so justice. You like, justice is going to be served. I'm just going to sit here, chill, and watch the damn show. For real. That's the energy that I feel. We got the uh, queen of wands here. The high priest, see, I know what I know. Yeah, king of cups. I know that this person is deeply in love with me. I know that they love me, love me with their whole heart and soul. You get what I'm saying? I know that for a fact, whether they open their mouth up and say it or not. So I know that justice is going to be served. Okay, like four swords, peace of mind. You are at ease. You do not have no stressed bones in your body. <laughs> no achy bones. We got the king of pentacles. Yeah, okay, so it's like. Seven of Swords. Somebody might be trying to like um, <sighs> strategize. You get what I'm saying? And doing everything in their power to get your attention or to do this or to do that. But it's like you already know. You, you already know who the, who the person for you is. Okay, so once again, put yourself whichever side you go with. This way it's coming through. You already know who the person for you is. Yeah, the world card. You know that certain cycles are going to complete themselves. They're going to end on their own. You don't have to intervene or do anything. Or once again, you don't have to compete. All right, so we have judgment here. The lovers, exactly. So it's like you have your discernment intact. You know already what you know. Okay, and with the chariot here, this is like ascending, leveling up, being better, rising above. Six of swords, things smoothing out. After there was turbulence, clearly. Five of wands is a lot of chaos, arguing, fighting, shit like that. Competition, like I said. You get what I'm saying? But moving forward, there's no more of that. Okay, so we have the wheel of fortune. Luck is definitely on your side here with this Jupiter energy with the wheel of fortune card. Okay, um, someone else might be slipping, falling, can't get up. I'm also hearing too... You get what I'm saying? Like, um, you know how somebody has a turn at something and they blow it and then someone else gets a turn and it's like they kick ass at what it is that they're doing. Now the person who blew it feels like, damn, I didn't get the opportunity to prove myself. But it's like, yes, you did. You just didn't do it. You get what I'm saying? So that's kind of the energy that's here. All right. So take it however it needs to be taken. All right, but yeah, it's like you're at the top of the wheel chilling because you're you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You have five of swords, so you're not worried about it. And then this person down here that's like, damn, you know, I didn't get my opportunity. It's like, well, you're not going to get one because you're keeping your seat nice and cozy. <laughs> this reading is funny as hell, yo. All right, so we got the knight. <laughs> so we got the knight of swords. <laughs> What is this? All right, the two of swords. Yeah, so it's like somebody else could be confused or 
Some of you might even be playing the role of like confused or something. You, you're not confused at all. <gasps> mm -mm. I'm getting like somebody knows that they lost. Somebody already knows they lost because you're in the race. So you're like, what competition? What race? What what? What even is that? You get what I'm saying? And these other people, a person, they know that. And that's why the reading is hilarious to me. It is hilarious. Yeah, you. Abundance. You are abundance. You manifest abundance. You get what you want. All right? Because you, you do the right things. Free message. Yeah, you do the right things. That's why I always tell people. When you have good intentions and you do the right things for the right reasons, you're going to be blessed. Spirit is going to make sure you're good. What competition? What competition? You get what I'm saying? So while other people look at it and like, oh, well, you only in this place and that person is in that place. Well, that, that must be their goal. Who even said that was my goal? Don't even be worried about what I'm over here doing. You get what I'm saying? So that's why this is hilarious. This is so funny for so many different reasons, y'all. Okay, but let us see. If this is your message, please do give it a thumbs up. Share it with the other Leos that you know who can relate, honey. Let's all laugh together because this is hilarious, is it not? All right, so we have anger. Yeah, somebody is pissed. They are pissed off, of course, because they know that they're never going to get... This is their karma, exactly. It's like you, somebody else fucked up and you lucked up. You get what I'm saying? And I mean... It is what it is, man. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and have a